What's up, YouTube? Y'all know who it is. X Elite Ninja. I'm back up in this bitch with another Pokemon tutorial for y'all motherfuckers. All right, check it out. After I put my password in on my phone. Okay. You see that? That's a beautiful background of me and my brother. Looking sexy as always. But yeah, okay, so I'm coming to you to tell you about this app called Drastic. Now what this app does, as you can tell, oh, whoops. As you can tell, it brings up a screen like that. And that basically where you would click load new game and you would click on the selection of games, whatever that you have there. Now before we get ahead of ourselves, I'm going to go ahead and take it back and I'm going to um, explain how to get drastic. The first thing you want to do is press your menu button from your home screen. While you're at your home screen, press menu. Go to system settings. After you get there, you want to scroll down. Um, depending on whether you're on gingerbread or whether what operating system you're using of Android it has to be Android by the way you want to go to developer options or you want to go under apps and under developer options under apps you want to um, make sure that this is checked you want to make sure Android debugging is checked one and as well as that you want to allow um, the install of things that are not from the marketplace basically so non-market resources or whatever it's called hold on let me find it. For some of you, it might be located under the security tab. And basically, it just it's different. It varies from phone to phone, I guess. You want to allow the unknown sources right there, as you can see. Unknown sources. Make sure that is checked. Once that is checked, I want you to go ahead and from your home menu press the search button it should bring up Google now or it should bring up some sort of search feature for Google you want to type in Aptoid A-P-T-O-I-D-E right and once you do that it's gonna bring you here to Google you're gonna click on the first thing that pops up it should be Aptoid.com you go there it's gonna ask you to install Aptoid or whatever you install it now, once Aptoid is installed after you download it and all that good shit, you want to go ahead and open it up. And you might not have any stores available, but that's fine. Just press the search button at the top, top right corner. And you want to type in, hold on one second. All right, from the search, from the search button, you want to type in Drastic. That's spelled D-R-A-S-T-I-C. Now, once you do that, it might say that no apps came up whatever that's fine just go ahead and click on the option to search other stores online right once that happens you search drastic in other stores hold on one second it's taking this time and the list should pop up. A lot of them at the top are just bullshit. Now the one you want is the one that says Drastic NDS Emulator and it should have somewhere well over a couple thousand downloads, right? Turn that text message tone off while I'm recording for YouTube. Anyways guys, excuse me, that was this Asian lady next to me fucking phone. What's wrong with you? Anyways, yeah. So once you click on that, you want to go ahead and install Drastic. After you install Drastic, you need to download the binary files, which basically I can show you how to do that as well. Give me one second. So you download the uh, files that it tells you to download. You can just Google them and you place them in the root of your SD card. To do this, you would need something like Root Explorer or something like that. Once you've downloaded these files, you go ahead and go into Root Explorer or Root Browser or whatever it is you choose to use. Go to your Downloads <clears throat> folder within your SD card and take the files from there and move them to the root of your SD card, which basically is where all your folders and everything is inside your SD card. Not inside any of your folders, just inside the SD card, right? So it's going to be here where everything is located, as you can tell. Right. So once you've done that, you want to go ahead and open Drastic back up. And the next thing you want to do is install a ROM. 
The best place to go to get a ROM, in my opinion, is CoolROM.com. This place has everything you need, all your NDS ROMs. Now me, I've already got quite a few of them on here downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and um, say launch up Lunar Nights. And this should start up like this. You do not need a computer for this at all. On most phones, it will be full speed. Okay. The touch screen also works. <clears throat> Thank you for watching YouTube, as always, and please, if you like this video, this quick tutorial by me, just comment, rate, subscribe, make sure you subscribe, please, and also like me, you can like me on Facebook, you can share me, you can follow me on Twitter here, and you can follow me on Instagram or any other of my social networks off the same shit. Thank you. Bye. We'll do that. Yeah, Mr. President, we you got your daughter hostage right here. One thing you need to remember. One thing. I am the ninja! <laughs>